really quick review of the movie Moon that just came out on DVD. It's directed by Duncan Jones, who happens to be David Bowie's son. It stars Sam Rockwell in an amazing, amazing piece of work. You have to see it if for nothing else but his, his acting. It's set on the dark side of the moon in the future when this uh, very cheap, wonderful source of energy is found. And this, this energy is sort of like save the planet. And so this corporation, I can't remember the name of it, but they have this base there on the dark side of the moon and Sam Rockwell has a three year contract. He runs the place, he's all alone for three whole years. He, the only company he has is, is a, a computer that's sort of like Hal from 2001 A Space Odyssey named Gertie and it's voiced by Kevin Spacey. It's two weeks before his three year contract is up can't wait to go home. He's very lonely. He has a wife and a little girl at home. The communications are out. The live communications are out. So the only contact he has with anyone from Earth are videos. So he goes out to the machine that's mining this source of energy. And um, no, it's not unobtainium. But uh, uh, he has an accident and he's knocked out and the next thing he knows he's waking up in the in the main base and Gertie's telling him he had an accident he has to rest and he, can't, he has a hard time walking his legs are like rubber he can bar barely walk and he Gertie won't let him go outside until he's better and so he, he I don't know what makes him I guess he just he's very suspicious so he he kind of rips this tube or something in the walls and he says it's leaking something and he convinces Gertie to let him outside to fix it from the outside but instead he goes out to the site of the accident and he looks into the transporter and he sees a body that looks a lot like him and he brings it back and revives it and basically the movie kind of from there it's like is he has he gone crazy because he's already you see that he's already hallucinated once or twice so is he hallucinating is is this um another person who's been there the whole time who looks just like him is it a clone you know you ask yourself those questions but you do kind of find out pretty quickly but the movie the the attraction for me with this movie the thing that i really loved about it is it, it's promoted as a thriller mystery kind of movie and it was really for me more of an examination of the human condition and and what people do when faced with extraordinary circumstances i just thought it was amazing i love duncan jones i can't wait to see more of his work uh, it was his first film i love the way he told the story the way he used film and actors to tell the story. This he made this movie for five million dollars, and it's a sci-fi movie with effects. <laughs> Everything looked really real, so I don't know how he did it, but he did a damn good job, and I totally recommend it. Go see it, and then tell me what you think.